Hello YouTube. Um, okay, we're talking about the FT60 and uh, how to get it MCOM radiant ready and just basically uh, breathe a little bit of uh, new life into it and make it useful for the next several more years. Um, so those of you who have this radio are familiar with what happens when you bump the zero button. You get this little atomic symbol in the upper right corner. Go figure the backlight turns off. Well, I can't seem to get it focused. There you go. Right there. The little atomic symbol in the upper right corner. Um, that indicates your wire is active. And when you key the microphone, this happens. And it transmits transmits DTMF and, and mutes the microphone for the first second of your transmission. This is very frustrating for you, very frustrating for those listening to you because that first second um, none of your message is getting through. Um, so the, the best way to bypass that, even if wires is active, the best way to bypass that, go to your set your uh, set menu, go to menu item 23, and select a blank memory. I just happen to have memory number 3 is blank, so just make sure it's blank. And then go down to INET and hit, hit the function button, and go to INT MEM for internet memory. And that way it's going to uh, select the code, whatever code you have um, saved in that particular slot, which happens to be nothing at the, at the moment. Um, it'll select that as the code to dial into uh, wires. So set that, get your PTT, exit out of it. And now no more uh, no more beeping, but we can go ahead and turn that off anyway. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is um, the battery. So this is not the battery that comes with the radio. This is a battery, this is a Vertex battery for the commercial line of radios that happens to fit the FT60. As you can see, it's, it's a little bulky, causes the belt clip to stick out a little bit. Um, belt clip still functions, but maybe not quite as well as it as it did before, but that's okay. It still functions. And uh, now I just need to find my... I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, I'm gonna take this off. The best way to take this off is with a screwdriver. Otherwise, as you can see, the latch... Sadie, go away. Sadie, go. I don't need her sniffing while I'm doing this video. All right, um, this latch is recessed in the battery and it will kill your fingernails trying to get it out of there. So take just something small, it could be a coin, it could be a key, anything, you can just pop that off. It really doesn't take much to pop it off, but it will kill your fingernails if you try to do it that way. And trying to do this one-handed is a bit tricky. Stand by. Okay, got the battery off. It is a Vertex. VX, I'm sorry, FNB V126LI-UNI, and it is a 2300 milliamp hour battery. I forget what the stock battery is, I want to say it's 1400 milliamp hours. Either way, this battery adds a ton of capacity to the radio. Um, I don't know if I've actually run down one of these batteries in one day or not. I don't think I have, um, but Two should be sufficient, maybe three if you want to be safe for for a day. If you are, if you are uh, going to be um, working hard hard out in the field doing a special event or something. So as you can see, I've had this battery for two years, and it is going strong. I really love these batteries. These are really great batteries. I highly recommend them. Um, the compared to the Nickel metal hydride batteries that come with the radio, um, it, it really blows those out of the water. This makes the radio much, much more useful for public service or emergency communications or anything, regular, you know, amateur communications. Um, and the charger for this battery is the, uh, the CD58. So you will need to buy a new charger for this battery. And that is the CD58. 
So let's go ahead and put this back in the radio. It is a lot easier when you have two hands. And it's back on. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the antenna. There are a couple different kinds of antennas you can you can get for this um, that are good. Uh, I forget what uh, a couple of my friends have, but they're both they're they're all diamond. Um, this is the diamond SRH seventy seven CA, which is a uh, it's a I believe it quarter wave at. Uh, high band VHF that's two meters or uh, I think it's a uh, NFED half wave at uh, UHF and um, it, uh, it it does a really really good job I really like this antenna um, but there are others you can choose from I, I do recommend getting a, uh, an aftermarket antenna for this radio the stock antenna is all right to get started, but get a uh, get a higher gain antenna. It it is uh, uh, better to have. All right, the last thing is you can see, looks like my radio is missing some parts here. The squelch knob is missing. I have removed the squelch knob. Um, whenever I twiddle the dial knob. Um, I'm always bumping. I've got fat fingers, and I bump that little squelch knob all the time. I've taken it off. I don't even know what I've done with it. I think it's somewhere. Um, I've got it somewhere, but uh, I've taken it off, and I've I've not missed it at all. Uh, I've set the squelch, and I've uh, you know I've, I've set and forget the squelch. Um, I, I set it at a decent level. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. It stays put. However, if I do need to adjust the squelch, in the rare chance that I that I need to, I can just pop this knob off, and twiddle that uh, that outer knob, and uh, I'm good to go. Um, but I'm just very very tired of accidentally adjusting the squelch when I'm turning the knob. I really wish, um, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me here. I've got a good friend who strongly believes in a manual um, squelch knob, a dedicated squelch knob. And, uh, you know, he'll disagree with me on this, but the uh, I, I really prefer a digital squelch that you can set in a menu, leave it, and forget it. Um, so, anyway, those are the uh, few recommendations that I have for getting this radio MCOM ready, ready and kind of breathing some new life into it. Um, the batteries will will definitely breathe breathe new life into it, and as you can see, this radio is has been well used. Um, it's all marked up and everything, and actually, I think I'll need to replace the uh, the button for the PTT soon, because um, sometimes I push down and the transmitter doesn't always come on, um, at least not right away. But other than that, it's a good radio. Um, anyway, let me know if you uh, have any.